in two UK when my airbag works. Rise and shine. Sleeping bags, it's pretty chilly out here. <sighs> it is, it is. I am out here without three sleeping bags. <sighs> it's all hustle and bustle in the bivouac. The bikes are going to be getting off the line at eight, which is just under an hour's time. It's still dark, but you've got a gorgeous sunrise. Look at the color of that starting to come up um i'm feeling pretty good this morning i'm not gonna be hitting anything i haven't done before so i'm just gonna hope i remember what i did last time so i'm another day in the desert we have the support team wrestling a bear are you winning it yeah. looks like you're close <laughs> We're going to get better, honestly. <laughs> well, I have my road book. Yay! You get your road book. What does all the squiggles mean? I'll teach you one day. I'll teach me one day. This is how you navigate in the desert. I still stick with when in doubt, go left. It won't work in the desert. And if you don't know about Roadbook, check out my other video that I did doing 1,000 Junas on a Tiger 900 Rally Pro. Yes, I went to the Junas in one of them. Mental, but there is a full how-to road book. Whew, on my YouTube and that will probably be quite interesting if you're unsure what all of this means. That's the amends page that goes onto this scroll that I'll be navigating from. Where's you? I tried to look through it, it didn't work. Right, I'm gonna get amending. Now that is service. Absolutely. Multitasking. Whoa. Multitasking. I feel like I'm gonna be sick after eating so much. I've still got yeah, yeah. half left. Yeah. Oh! The helicopter is in the air, which means the first rider is going off the line with these races. The first guy doesn't go until the heli support is 100% ready to go. Because if you need it when you're out there, it's got to be ready. I love the fact I can see a donkey walking across the desert over there. I think it's probably too far away to show you. I'll try and zoom in. We're in Morocco, woo! And I'm racing my KTM. Dream bike. Let's go, day two. Today is a good off-road day. We've got a 5K liaison-ish, and then we go into just shy of 400K off-road special and then 40k liaison at the end of the day so this is going to be a, an action day i'm expecting it to be about eight hours we'll see see how it goes for me i'm at the start line
Imagine I'm having a tiny little breather. Taking a lot of water. This is wild. And for any of the skeptics, where's my track? That's my track. Okay, but my airbag works. <laughs> yeah, Alpine Stars. Airbag intact. Okay, just had my first off. Airbag deployed. I'm absolutely fine. Big buddy looks okay. I've got a bike coming, so I better pick him up. But I'm all good. Just caught the bank. I just caught something there and bam. Thank Christ for airbags. There's a pop? Yeah. Uh. I think it's the rock. The rock in the car right There's there. a rock? Yeah, it took me out. Can you like bang it? I want to see. Airbags are amazing! <laughs> I'm gonna change my air vest. I'm not riding without the protection of my air vest. Okay, so I uh, I deployed my airbag. So I have decided to pull over and recharge it. I don't think you can even see my head, but whatever. I am uh, in race mode and my priority is getting my air vest recharged, sorry. Um, it deployed exactly like it should, like a dream. Um, so I'm gonna get it swapped out. This is not easy. Ah, oh, this is it. Ah, oh, shit. I'm just tangling it all up. Right. Dead. Alive. Basically decided that I could keep going until the fuel stop. But if I have another crash, that could be me injured. 
So instead, I'm swapping it out. The big truck's about to go past. That is gonna give me some shit dust. It's a, it's a really big truck too. Right, Simmons has changed, sealed. Right, dead ones in the bottom of my bag. I don't think you can even see my head. Yeah, that truck's coming. Uh, the truck. Big truck, right. Okay, I've got a bit of a conundrum. Since I've been stopped here, five trucks and three cars have gone that way. They've all come back and gone that way, which makes me think we've all gone wrong and they're finding the way out back there. I'm looking at my mileage and I think we've been in the riverbed 2k longer than we should have been. So my gut thinks it was that way. So I think I'm going to go back too. Sheesh. This is, I'm in a, after my airbag going off, I definitely lost a little bit of concentration and then with the dust and the mayhem, but I think I'm going to go that way. when I was here. I was right when I was here too though. Yeah, yeah. Like, unless the 82 we've met. I don't think we stepped down into a river. That's a river, right? There's a marking. Yeah, and there's... So for this wall, the river must be the next one. Look. I feel very in the way right now. Me too. We go one thing to bed. So it must be 1.800 uh, no, uh, uh, meters. To where? Across. Okay, so we can confirm that. And therefore, it is the gap, we have to go the gap 175 or more, to at least 250. This must be fun for our families on the tracker. So they're still stationary it's there. Again, huh? Okay, should we go and try and find 80? So, if we go 800 meters, see if we get set. Okay, yeah, yeah. Is that the step there, look? That's the river. Yeah, because there's greenery shows and you And that's river, the look. step. Which means we then go through this and round to the right, which is what we did. Which means we should be at like 42, well, then, why don't we go back to the step where the little dash is? 250, we have to go there. What love prayer? Let's go back to that step and get our mileage I exact. Love prayer has found it. He's going. I'm going to go get my mileage exact on that step and then I come back round and I'm going to hit 175 going into 250 cap. Left. It goes around to the right for a video. So let's go around there. We're going to go past the tree and hit 175 going into 250. This, if this, is this, we have to go to the left side. 
Hang on a minute. What? You reckon that's this? Yeah. This would be the same. If this is 179.63, one, we have to go to the left. And not to the, not to the straight. I've just um, Well, why don't we try it? Okay, let's go to 179.63. Let's try it. We'll go that way. It's only 1k to find out if we hit a river or not. If right? Not, if not, if not, there we are. We are on 179.2. So, just say, so 179.25, keep right. Which is the way we went, yeah. which doesn't make sense because we've then got that step. I like your idea of trying this as a left. Going left. But you it, think doesn't that might look, be here? You think it doesn't look one, like yeah? anyone has gone left though. Yeah. There are no tracks. Because, yeah, but look, if not, if we are here, I'm on 179.25, if we are here, then we're on the next crossing wrong because we have to go straight ahead. Yeah. This track is coming back again. Yeah, to me, when the tracks are lost, you know you're yeah. Because they've got two minds purely yeah, yeah. to navigate. I'm really glad I found you two. <laughs> <laughs> Made no difference. We have no nothing. We have no, no proof of nothing. It's <laughs> nice to having three brains. Why don't we test run this theory? Go what I say is the river. If you look at that track going up that way, yeah. it's kind of following the river. Yeah. And see, okay, so we think we're at 7963. Yeah, yeah, so what I'm saying. So he's though, we all are. Funny. Did Lebray coming back? This is the, the best question. He is a very, very good navigator. Which guy? Uh, in the orange truck. Okay. He's alone in the truck. Oh, I've lost win, the orange truck. And he wins the duck car. Ah. Alone in the truck. What? Yeah. How is he alone? He's alone. One man in the truck. I didn't you know that was a thing. Him? He's a legend. And there's a car that way, there's a car that way, there's a truck that way, there's a bike that way. <laughs> yeah. So and there's I a donkey over there. And... New fuel in the body, we fuel on the bike. Going strong, got very lost. Cost a lot of time, but I was lost with about 15 others, including the big trucks who have a dedicated human purely to navigate. Anyway, that was a good uh, jolly in the desert. Vanessa, uh, the sun is coming down just on time, no? 
Yeah, I guess it's always good to come in the daylight. <laughs> it makes for a much better feeling, but that was a long day. I think it worked out about nine and a half hours of special stage with a 15 minute break at refuel. So I'm going to eat a lot this evening. <laughs> how, how was it in the dunes? I love the dunes. The dunes are amazing. I didn't have a single drop. I got caught on two peaks where I didn't quite make it and just a little push got me over. Absolutely love the dunes. I was really nervous for them. I'm really annoying. I get very nervous about stuff. And it was just beautiful. Just cruising. Love the dunes. How was the navigation? Um, I would say like 95% of the day was perfect, but there was one big bit in the middle where there must have been six trucks, five cars, three buggies and four motorbikes all just going like this. And no one had a clue. And then I eventually... I just saw one pickup truck that looked like he maybe was driving with a little bit more certain. So I followed him. I just went, I've got, I'm, I'm out. I'm just going to chase him. And I freaking chased him, lost him. But in the process of chasing him, kind of found a couple of bits in the road book and was like, I think I know where I am. And I ended up back where I was and I missed it by 10 meters. 10 meters maybe, it was gutted. How many time you lost for 10 meters? I think I was lost once for an hour. <laughs> maybe, maybe not quite so long, but it was a big loss. It was a big loss. Otherwise it was all good. Still, still motivated. Heck yeah. <laughs> Day two. We've got, I don't want to count, a few more days, just a couple. <laughs> um, so I need two new cylinders for this bad boy in my bag. The two in my bag are done. So I had a little bit of an off. It was quite a big off, but it didn't hurt even a fraction because this thing just went pow. I think it's my first deploy in the, the next generation one. And oh my God, you can tell the difference from my previous airbag. So much better. Yeah, What's I don't know what the difference like, is. Or... No, just the power it went to. The speed of deployment. I don't know if the speed was any better, but it was just so big. It was like just full body covered. But this thing is worth its weight in gold, that's for sure. Um, I don't think I'm even touched by it. He wouldn't start after the drop. Um, and it just was coincidental timing of my rear fuel tank being empty. Oh, that was it. Or very low, so because he'd got on the right, it had gone to the other side, and I was like, no! <laughs> and then I just sort of thought, fuel pump, change fuel pump. Bam! What? No. So what, what sent you over? What happened? Oh, it was in that shitty, like, chalky, hard pack desert old lake and stuff, which is just, I think, my nemesis now. The drive. Well, no, I did go wrong. Yeah. So I, my airbag went off on the right track. I then got, was in this disgusting, my 8360 was recording the whole thing, in this disgusting kind of riverbed that was like fash fash. Yeah. All the trucks were going past. So I reckon six trucks and two pickups pooned past me. I was with three other bikes were around me at this point. Yeah. And we were just absolutely choking. And then, and then I was like, actually, you know what? I'm here to finish this race. I'm pulling over and changing my gas cylinders. So I pulled over, took all my kit off, recharged that, which yeah. takes a couple of minutes. I then proceeded to take at least three minutes in the desert with this thing f***ing hooked over the top, going like this. At the end, I managed to like get it like hooked on there. But bear in mind, he's on sand, so I couldn't pull him. He was no. just sinking. So I was like trying to keep him held upright and I'd hook it to then I was like, I should have left the 360 camera on. I look like a dog trying to scratch its ass on a branch. Anyway, um, but but while I was doing that, so I had to have that off for this to happen. I was then stationary, yeah. sorting this out, and I chowed a protein shake. Actually, I did chow the protein shake. Yeah. And during that time, truck went back, truck went back, truck went back. Five trucks went back, really? two pickup trucks back back, and I've said they're going. I thought I was right on nav, but there's no way seven guys that have a dedicated person solely to nav are all wrong and I'm right. 
and so I went, got back on the bike. I really debated much of myself though, um, followed them, and yeah, then it was like chaos. Okay, so I promise you real, my spine on my back uh, sticks out and I really struggle with it rubbing on my rucksack. I have been using some Compex tape on previous rallies and I just put a strip of it down the back of my spine but for some reason it's feeling particularly sore this trip and if I lose the skin I'll be in a lot of trouble. So I've got a med kit and some really good 3M pads so I'm going to position this or Annika is exactly on the one little bit of the vertebrae that's rubbing the most put that on and it's got a little bit of whatever that is cotton wool wadding so that's going to give a bit more padding this is a waterproof one and then we'll put another run of this down the whole spine because it's only the one can you tell which one it is i can this one here that one yeah okay can we put and we're doing all of this while we're on our rowboat rowboat and i'm in a weird back top rally is not glamorous but um, I was on the bike for nine hours, 40 minutes today in the special stage. So nine hours and 40 minutes of solid riding minus 15 minutes of the neutralization stage. Feeling a little bit sh shaken up. I just had a call from the med tent and a friend who is racing has had an off today, potentially broken both his forearms and hurt his neck, uh, but pulled out in a heli and uh, he's got off to hospital to get scanned and it kind of shakes you up. I know that it's a dangerous game. I've got to really focus and concentrate, bring it all the way to Dakar. <laughs> okay, I'm in the tent. I have had some Arnica deep heat oil rubbed on my neck and back and that's going to soothe the muscles. I'm feeling, feeling all right. Had a little bit of an upset after, uh, yeah, the other bike going out and there's some other people still out there in the desert. Thank you. It's got, thank you, delivery of my power bank to charge my phone overnight. Um, but yeah, um, I'm doing okay. I've just got to keep going and race to my ability, not take any risks, keep fueling, gonna get to sleep. Day three tomorrow, day two down.